How's it going, guys? Monster Hunter Wilds has now been revealed. Monster Hunter 6 is here. So myself and 2-6, we're going to be reacting to the two new trailers. There's one with Ryozo sort of talking us through a few things, and there's a few tidbits in there. And then there's, of course, the official Game Awards sort of reveal trailer. 2-6, you ready? Should we just jump in? Well, I, I just want to reel in the fact that we're actually getting a, like, a new Monster Hunter proper monster hunter game like yo let's go <laughs> let's jump in let's see what the man him, let's see what the man himself has to say about that so uh yeah it's gonna be monster hunter series producer no tsujimoto the game awards 2023 de series sai sin sak de aru monster hunter wilds o hakeo sase te itadakimashita the logo sie san no gokoi no moto at the Game Awards, they said it wasn't possible. There was doubt. <laughs> Hold up. You are so right. The, the, everyone was doubting. We did a little tweet. We were like, the next hope is the Game Awards. <laughs> like, please. <laughs> it, it was copium. Like, nah. <laughs> it, it was, was copium. It, it was hardcore copium, but it paid off. It turned out. It paid off. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> it works out. Very desert like world as well. Yeah. They said they can't go into detail about it. So the game features a new level. Hold on, hold on, he's speaking to you quickly. A new level of detailed creatures and ecosystems. Which was one of the coolest things about World, I thought, how it did feel like kind of living. Yeah. Also, this is this is not a cross like gen console game. This is this is fully current. So this is PS5 and Series X and S, right? So it, yeah, it's gonna look. It should look even better because if we think about World, which still holds up even today, that was still made with PlayStation 4, right? So it should at least be a step up from that. Yeah. PlayStation 2 de tanjou shite kara laineen 3 gats de 20 nei nari mas. Yeah, actually, so what, they snuck it in, didn't they? Like, just before. They did, they did. Because <laughs> <laughs> we kind of, we kind of had a, there's a fan theory going around that maybe they're going to wait till the anniversary, reveal it on the anniversary, which I think would have also been cool in its own way. But the Game Awards is a pretty big show, so. I feel like they're going to give yeah. us more information and a proper reveal during the actual anniversary and i always felt like it needed that kind of prime and i feel like other people felt that it needed that kind of like a little bit of a announcement before the actual little deep dive into it so yeah mm, yeah title playstation 4 monster hunter world those are good times. Those are good times. Yeah, that, that's all iconic times. Like, for, I think for most Monster Hunter fans, it's iconic. But also, I feel like it's unprecedented for the amount of new people that got into Monster Hunter as well, just by being on these on these like major consoles. But that was a good time to be alive. Do you remember the streams back then? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Chat, we haven't even spoken to you. How like viewers, everybody just commenters, like, how are you feeling? Like, I'm just so gassed right now. <laughs> I still can't believe it. It's like, by the way, it is like 4 a.m. right now. It's, it's just yeah. happened. I can't believe it. But uh I'm still digesting the whole sort of news myself. But yeah, how's is every is it what people expected to see? Is it not? Like, tell us your sort of thoughts and Theories below. あ、ミスボーイズガスだ。トップセールズだ。ファーマーフォーアイネ。コンファームド。ヒューウォルフソーラフォロスカミング。いや、またそう。ラフォロスコミング。イズディフェンディ。イズディフェンディ。イズディフ
<laughs> You're missing out. Well, yeah, wherever the exclusive <laughs> items are, that's where I'm going. Yeah, where I'm going. <laughs> <You know? Yeah. laughs> but the logo is really cool here. Like, it, it, it's a bit more than is there at first glance, right? So we'll ju just to talk about this quickly. We have sort of these two snake-like, maybe like dragons, like top, of, top yeah. and bottom, and then these little rings on the side. But these little rings, which kind of look like maybe wings of these dragons, are also little dragons. That so they got a little head and they got little arms coming out. So. I just find the logo pretty interesting. But shall we go to the actual, yeah. the actual premise? So the logos, well? if you guys didn't know, like in general, logos for the Monster Hunter games, they always, the amount of heads on the logos signify like the generation that we're currently in for that one. So mm -hmm. six heads, mm -hmm. I mean, six generation. We're moving I just on. I to go we're to the logo on. because I think you're actually so right. Because I'm seeing six heads here. So each ring yeah. has four and then top, bottom, five, six, right? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just watch this from the start because this one is the one that got me proper excited for Monster Hunter uh, Wilds. I I keep on saying Monster Hunter Six, but we should probably start saying Monster Hunter Wilds now. I'm been wilding out. <laughs> <laughs> You're the chocobo, though. Yeah, let's just let me just talk about that I for a sec. It. We got some kind of like rainbow feathered. I don't see anything other than a chocobo. I'm just gonna. Hmm. I'm just gonna be honest. I am. We've played a lot of Final Fantasy, obviously, like every single one as they come out. But it does look very much like a chocobo, and I'm. I'm not against that, by the way. I'm just surprised. You see, in Wait, desert, got a rag in the background. Go, go back. Go back. <laughs> desert got a rag with a rat tail. <laughs> you said that when we when we first saw it. I can't unsee it. It's a freaking <laughs> woolly desert gosharag. It does look a bit Azeros like though, I will say. But it yeah. does have the sort of red gosharag head. The amount wait, of wait, monsters wait, 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 on wait, wait, the wait. screen though is massive. There's just like a, such a density of like the monsters that we haven't necessarily seen in a Monster Hunter game ever. Normally they're kind of really sporadic and like spread out. There's like one or two monsters and you go there, you chop them, you get your stuff. But this one is definitely a lot more using that power of that PS5 and those next gen consoles to like the fullest. I'm I'm like all for it. I feel like that was a major thing that probably held back World. And World is still like so good. Like I wouldn't even like it definitely held, holds games back when they're across you know the older gen and the current gen but worlds was still fantastic and still looks great and there's still a lot of stuff on the screen and things to collect but this i, I can't even like i can't even count how many there are on screen right now and we can at least see two different types of things on the screen right we've got the, the sort of armadillo armored ones and then we've got the spiky ones like that guy in the top left just sort of rearing back and then we got the Desert Gosharag, so that's like three monsters so far that we're seeing. And is that a great sword? I'm assuming on his back. Just want yeah, to know the definitely a great sword. And then he's got like some pouch thing that is a tent. So somebody I saw like tweeted that they're thinking that the actual like chocobo is maybe our portable, our own portable tent, or maybe we carry all of our like items on the actual. Yeah, like our own like mule. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, I love uh, that. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if there's going to be because I know other games. I'm literally thinking of Dragon's Dogma 2 right now, another Capcom game. There, there's like camps in the open world, but they're in like set camp locations. But if they yeah. want, if they can give us something like this, this chocobo monster that carries our tent, maybe we can just pop it up anywhere and that would be quite cool. But maybe if they are thinking in the same realm as Dragon's Dogma, there might be set camp locations because that's how it works in that game. Yeah. Well, Dragon's Dogma 2, I should clarify. I haven't seen a single sign of a Palico, though. It kind of worries me. Oh! <laughs> no Palamute either, so far. <laughs> <laughs> they just got, they've been binned and we've got the Chocobo now. They better make a combat. You can't get rid of pal Palicos and felines. But look, then we got the Sandstorm rolling in. What does that even mean? Is there proper, like, changing weather, changing seasons? Is there... What like the, then there's like hold on there's too much going on we got we got the sandstorm rolling in what does that mean exactly is that a, is it just a change of weather is it a quest thing we don't know then like our guy here is proper covered in like covered in dirt right yeah so this must be in the sandstorm is my thinking okay yeah and then in the sandstorm there's crazy weather like this like this lightning and then we've got the spiky armadillo monsters that are absorbing the lightning which makes me think. 
if you're next to or near one of them, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get struck by lightning because they're gonna get struck, right? Because they're they're sticking a tool like spike out. Oh, my whole thing looking at this, if we use monster hunter tropes, right? Monster hunter trope is usually there's some type of big monster causing disruption within the environment. That sandstorm is probably caused by whatever flagship or end <laughs> boss that we have to fight. And maybe there's going to be a load of monsters that do control the environment this time and completely adapt it around the way that we actually have to play and we have to get certain stuff or uh, hunt with that. And that's kind of like maybe the gimmick or the mechanic in this one that we're going to be fighting. Around. Uh, that's my guess. Uh, can I just add another like trope onto that? Maybe not yeah. a monster and a trope, but just other fantasy worlds. I'm thinking of maybe Star Wars with like the Sarlacc pit. That you know these desert areas. If you think about Guild Wars as well, they can sometimes have like ginormous worms, like sandworms. So yeah. maybe, maybe. No, definitely that. They, 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 uh, Gobble's gonna make a. <laughs> <laughs> it looks cool. Hold on, there's like that that scene where he's running forward. It's very short, but I'm just trying to see if we can spot anything there. This next scene. So he's just running forwards. Particle effects looking kind of nice. I didn't yeah. spot anything else. We got like jumping across terrain. We got actually gliding. Now, my question is, is this actual gliding, which I really hope it is, or is it like, like, you know how you have like some, some traversal options, but they're kind of scripted. Like yeah. this jump probably is a scripted jump across. So I, I, I really want to know if it is actually free roam gliding or not, but obviously it's like impossible to tell. Oh, and these like spikes there everywhere were also absorbing the lightning in the sandstorm. So mm. I'm gonna guess you're you're kind of trying to run from spike to spike to stay safe or something like that. But you spotted this as well earlier on when he gets up here. Look, you can see like it shift the sort of season, and the grass sort of grows. It's interesting to see like what that is and how it kind of factors into the actual story. But I want to see what it looks like in the other areas. And you can kind of see it pulse all the way into the background and continue to go, uh, even if we're not looking directly at that. And then we see the hunter themselves. I just want to pause. Is there any, like, I'm, chat, we need your help here. Is there anything I'm missing here on, on the logo, including on the text? Like, the, you see the W has a little flare on it in the middle. That's got to be symbolic for something, right? I don't have a clue what it is, but it's got it's got to be something. Is it just is it just for the graphic? Does Are we saying that outside of like those flourishes on that as well, like just the wind, the overall thing that just feels like there's this wind everywhere as well? Um, should it have been called Monster Hunter Wind instead, <laughs> or is it the wilds indicative of it being more of a like a fully open world game and taking Monster Hunter to the next level because we've always had these kind of closed off like ecosystems oh how does the game even play with a full open world like it's like crazy there's a lot of questions for sure I do think the name wilds does suggest like an op a big open world that just makes sense yeah. right I I just want to get your thoughts on this 2-6 because yeah. for me I just think it's crazy that they've gone with another MHW <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter Wilds. It's going to be so confusing. It's like, yo, are you going to play MHW? Bro, I've been playing it for years. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I think they did that on purpose just so that people knew that this is kind of like world, the 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 next iteration of like the main console, like PS5 and uh, mm. Xbox One. So people can have like brand awareness when it comes down to it as well. So I can understand what they did they're going for but it's definitely confusing um they could have gone with any other name and people would have known what it was we obviously saw rathos in the previous trailer but i, I do like that they showed him just just to let yeah. you know uh we can also see here that the uh the, the sort of chocobo in a in a bit better detail from the side and you can see there is that tent roll there is some other is that a bow gun like stuffed in there do you see like the hilt of a there's the hilt of something coming out that, that pouch on the oh, side. Oh, can you have two weapons then? Does that mean that you can have two weapons at, at one time in the hunt? Uh, or can you just swap weapons at your choke? If your chocobo perhaps is like a mobile camp, can you just run up and just yoink a weapon out of his, you know? Oh, I, I want to switch to switch axe. Pull it out. Oh, I want to switch to dual blades. Pull it out. I don't know. Like It looks like there's one, one thing stuffed in there. It looks like a bowgun hilt to me. Potentially. One of the spiciest things that they could do is give us two weapons 
to hunt with in a hunt because that would be unprecedented. Yeah, but and oh, completely but, but game changing. They're, they're big weapons, all right. <laughs> true, so true. What's the is the limitation? You got to run up to the chocobo. Can you just yeah. whip them out at any time? Like, obviously, we don't like. It's too many questions still, but I do think that's I, I, I do think it's interesting that there's another weapon mm. sticking out, uh, and I don't see anything else sticking out. So, it's, you know, it's something. But I think back to the MHW thing. I think is it just going to be like MHW two that people are going to sort of shorten it to? I feel like that kind of makes sense, right? MH Worlds? MH Worlds not that long, right? And everyone calls it MH Fries anyway, so it's not like everyone calls it MHR. All right, you all right? You kind of. You kind of <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just MH Worlds, guys. Yeah, okay. It's fine. Well, that is the trailer. I think I counted one, two, three, four. Five, six. I think I counted six monsters. Like I'm just gonna quickly show them. So we got, uh, we got the two here, the 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 round of the spiky boys. We got these. Uh, these. I don't even know what they are, but we got some sort of big. There's also uh, there's a big one which are eating the grass, and there's the small ones running around like uber uber teeny tiny velocipre or something, or jaggies as we like to call them. There's the desert goss harag. And then there's the Rathalos. That, that's all the monsters that I'm seeing so far, anyway. That's definitely a Bogon. Like, you, can, you can see more of the Bogon now. Wait, hold on. Like... I didn't even notice it in these scenes. That's crazy. No, that's a Bogon. Look at it. That's a Bogon. Uh, that's a Bogon. It's either a Bogon or a big like cello guitar or something. That he's what if carrying. they're the only two weapons in the game? <laughs> Got rid of everything <laughs> else. <laughs> that's what we have with a great sword and a Bogon now. Right, I, mean, I just, I just like the, I'm just, I just like the trailer. What can I say? But that's that's Monster Hunter Worlds, right? That is Monster Hunter Worlds. It's exciting times ahead, guys. I can't wait to actually play this. It obviously comes out in uh, 2025, so it is a wild, uh, 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 a wild off. But it is wild. <laughs> it's Monster Hunter Worlds. <laughs> it is a wild off, but uh, I think it's like the kind of time that we needed. If that's the time that they need to cook, at least we know that it's out there. I feel like as a fandom. We kind of just needed a little bit of acknowledgement and a, just a little bit of a break off so that we knew that it was coming considering that we normally know what's happening with Montana after the next ones like ended. So it's, they didn't wait too long. Thank you based Capcom. Thank you based Riozo. Thank you based uh, development team for coming through with this one. I'm excited to see where the series goes, especially if it is going open world as they're hinting to with these massive vistas. <laughs> I will say I I had this delusion that the game would release in 2024, and uh, like we have to wait a whole not like a whole year, and then it's sometime 2025. I'm going to assume early, but we don't know. So I am I am kind of shocked that it is 2025, but also uh, just to clarify, yeah, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series XS, and Steam as we can see on here. So pretty cool it's stuff got a finite, even if it isn't in 2025 it's got a finite window because like no game company likes releasing their games that's a gta so they've basically got six months either side of where gta lands in that mm. <laughs> in that window so we'll know more towards the end of True. next year 2025 is gonna bang it it's gonna be a sick year <laughs> for games well guys that is sure. monster Hunter world's our uh, sort of reaction to the the trailers that we have so far we're going to have more stuff coming your way soon, so make sure you are subscribed, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.